What if your monkeys were not allowed to use any physical weapons while in Balloon Tower Defense 6? You see, in BTD6, you have a whole range of towers that use different abilities, whether it's throwing a physical weapon, holding controls to a vehicle. Maybe it's an automatic machine that just puts out the devices or weapons themselves. Maybe it's something magical like the ice or the wizard monkey themselves. In doubt, there's a range of different towers, but what if you couldn't use any towers that throw a physical weapon, like the dart monkey, like the boomerang monkey? Would you be able to beat round 100? And if so, how far could you really get? So we need to choose a hero. And you know, you know we, we never use Adora. Let's go Let's go with the door. I want to place a door right here. That's a pretty good spot. And let's go ahead and get things started. Let's make sure we have auto start on. So that's going to be really interesting. So the, the way this is going to work is because we can't have hold any physical weapons, basically, that cancels out basically anything with monkeys except for Ice Monkey. Because Ice Monkey is completely magical. Everything he spawns. Actually, no, that's not true. We can't go the bottom path with him, but everything else he spawns is completely magical So we just can't use his bottom path. That's no big deal But like a lot of these are really easy like dart monkey holds everything in every single path So we don't have to worry about that We just can't use him and that's the way they are for most monkeys But like bomb tower, you know in our tank shooter or what else our spike factory now These can be used because these have no monkeys at all They just are automatically placed down But we can't use things like banana farm because banana farm does have no monkeys that holds no nothing but it doesn't attack anything that's why we're gonna have no money making ability we can use village but we can only use primary expertise once we get to the t5 because it has an auto attacking ability so basically we get spike factory ice monkey bomb tower attack shooter and then we have our magic monkey we actually get wizard which is going to be really really good for us wizard is going to be op so i think we go ahead and put our first wizard right here right because he's going to be our bottom path he's going to be our prince of darkness yes yeah he's going to be op because he got a buff recently one of the updates and he's really good against ddt's now so and he's really cheap so that's going to be a big bonus for us this challenge i think is going to be a lot more difficult with no money making abilities it's hard because everything is out like super monkey we can use if we don't go any path except for the bottom path but we also can't use the t1 or the just the t2 middle path because he holds darts we have to instantly get laser vision or plasma bass to be able to use him but like machines don't count because even though you're not technically holding a weapon you have to control or operate a vehicle of some sort now mortar monkey is interesting because he doesn't technically hold anything he just pushes a lever right so I mean, he doesn't hold anything. He does have to hold the bombs to put in, but he's not holding the weapon. I'm saying we're going to allow the Mortar Monkey. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. I think that one's completely allowed. But yeah, that it leaves out a lot of the really good monkeys. So this is going to be super interesting. Let's go ahead and get this big boy up here. Shimmer ability. Let's get Wall of Fire as soon as possible. All right, so we have a lot of magic right now. So we want to get something that's not so majestical because we have no defense against purples. So what would be the best? I mean, I want to get a Spike Factory, right? Or a actual ring of fire inferno ring and this is the best spot for inferno ring but we don't have to make it a, a ring of fire right now we can just leave it as a tank shooter so that's good three i want to put a spike factory right here because i guess if we eventually get the money this would be the best spot for super mines right we can get spiked balls so that way we have an easier time with ceramics as well which is going to be super nice and then what do we want to go for next okay so spike ball produces spike balls that do extra damage to ceramic and fortified balloons what else do we want to get down though i guess we should probably get moab shot her down i'm trying to focus Ooh, actually an ice monkey i hate using ice monkey because the t5s are really really good but i hate every other t version of it so let's go ahead and put this guy for a slow path and let's make sure he can see camo balloons because i need him to be able to see everything so arctic wind that's going to slow balloons in its radius and sadly it's just such a small radius that's why i prefer getting non-natural camera detection on him but i mean we we can sell him and replace him when we get the village but until then i need him to be able to see camos just in case and i don't want to get more magic because right now we have just a bunch of magic tower and once we get ring of fire that makes the tank shooter even magic itself which we're gonna go ahead and do right now there we go okay so we beat easy yay that's the video over no which uh, free play there we go so let's go ahead and we're, our goal is basically to get as far as possible but also just to beat 100 you can go ahead and get necromancer army and we're gonna put those at the very very back to spawn i can get super monkey actually that would be really good for us but i think we go ahead and save up and get our village because that way we have it down and we can get everything down in the range of it that we want the range of it so we don't have to waste money on extra camera detection so primary expertise is 21 grand oh my god so that's basically what 23 grand 26 
24, 25 grand, plus the village itself. So it's about 26 and a half grand, which we're ha almost halfway to. That's going to be really expensive, but that's going to be bonus damage to itself. It's also going to, it just happens to boost our attack shooters. That's going to be a, a, another bonus as well. It's the only tower. Actually, no, it's going to boost our bomb towers as well, which we don't have any down yet, but I'm not worried about that, which is actually good because I love the top path since it stuns my wives, but it also makes the game last extra, extra long, but it doesn't get a lot of pop. So we don't want to prioritize it. Oh, I haven't even been using Dora's ability. Look at her range when that ability is active. That's insane. She's only level nine right now. Adora levels up slowly. We can sacrifice stuff to her, but it's more important for us to get the right towers down. Oh, we should have enough to go ahead and get our primary village expertise village. I think this putting this right here is going to be the best spot because I'd rather have everything else up front. We can have the bomb towers in the back for a safety deploy. So let's go ahead and boom a T5 with camera detection. So we can also go ahead and delete this guy now, which is going to be amazing. We can go ahead and put him back down. And some of the paths are actually going to be cheaper because of the single fact that now things are free. So we can go enhance freeze all the way there and look at this extra radius. Now it covers literally like a, the whole middle of the track. That's awesome. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead. I think we go ahead and start getting our perma spike set up. So there we go. And I have to get bigger spikes and white hot spikes without the village or without the actual alchemist. We can't make it hit DDTs otherwise. And those are usually the biggest thing for perma spikes to deal with. So we only need 22 grand for Prince of Darkness. And then we need 25 and a half grand for our perma spikes. So that's basically what? 47, 48 and a half grand ish. That's not that bad. Only 50 ish grand for two T5s. That's really, really cheap. Okay, Prince of Darkness it is. I made up my mind. And let's make sure we, oh, we can spawn them all the way back here. Absolutely. The farther back we spawn them, the better because the towers can do more damage. And that means these guys can have more time on the track. All right, I want to go ahead and get Spike Storm right here in the very front and also the very middle because this will cover three tracks for us, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, he's going to boost Ice Monkeys too. I'm such an idiot because it's primary expertise. Actually, he's got a decent range, right? So I think right here is going to be good. And let's go top path and then boom, perfect. And let's go and actually larger radius does nothing for him for the most part. So deep freeze is better for this almost every single, actually, I think every single time. At this point, I'm kind of just wanting to set up all my T4 so I don't have to deal with it and then make sure we're extra strong so we don't have to worry about anything. So there's that bomb tower shooter. Bomb tower shooter, if I could speak the English, I think we want to make the top path this one because they get such a big range anyways. And then we can put Moab missile literally just right here. So there we go and put him on strong. So perfect. He doesn't get the best radius, but out of all of them, I think he, this one gets the weakest pops, right? But he stuns the balloons. This one, his ability is insane, but at the same time, his regular shooting and his regular ability for T4 isn't as nearly as powerful, especially after you get to round 120 plus. Okay, so we have $27,091. Obviously, I knew we weren't going to be worried about DDTs because of Prince of Darkness. Let's get Perma Spikes up and going. Now we're big secure. Okay, so I have all of my base monkeys down. I've got my two wizards here. I have my lax tax shooter. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's the mortar monkeys. You know, I'm not worried about those. We'll add them if we have the money and we've gotten everything else. But we can get anti-balloon gun and since we have everything else stacked up front should we can we put him in the back here he gets such a big range anyways right so boom extra range and look at that there we go okay so laser blast and plasma blast is only 2100 let's put one of these guys on strong and look at this range so yeah he can still hit up front in most of the middle of the track where the cross sections are so that's the most important part because we have everything else focused up front so we want some heavy defenses in the back system here dts absolutely can't touch us 95 is a little joke to us we should have no problem with the actual BAD itself. I'm pretty confident in that. Let's get Spike Storm. This guy's going to be our middle path. So let's go and get Dragon's Breath here. This guy's going to be our Arc Mage. Let's get the extra range with Monkey Sense to make sure we can see more of the track. I know he's more powerful if we get Fireball and Wall of Fire, but I want to. I like having the extra range so we can just keep hitting more and more of the balloons. This wig feels like such a joke to me right now, which is so annoying because I, I still play balloons in my meantime down in my free time. So and I've been trying to beat Dark Castle on chimps without using any strategies that I've seen online and because I, I know two or three ways to beat chimps and I just I don't want to use those strategies because those are users those are things I've seen online other people or an AI create and I don't want to use that specific strategy so I've, I've tried playing the, the map over and over again and yeah we destroyed the BAD like it was nothing well not like it was nothing it still got a little bit um so I'm, I think we're gonna start and lose at 120 I think that's where we're gonna lose unless we get a lot more T5s I think we have to go for Inferno ring next by the way but yeah we we just every time i get to it i'm like okay so either i lose it like 84 to 89 right before because i'm trying to prep for the bad and i'm losing to the massive moabs or 
I finally get everything prepped and I'm trying to get the last T5 or something and then at 98 I lose. It's always 98 because there's just so many ZOMGs mixed with reinforced BFBs. It's absolutely nuts. Like look at this. There's just so many re reinforced ZOMGs. Okay, Spike Storm, 14 grand away from getting our next upgrade, which is going to be a really powerful one, but we're struggling. We're very much struggling to survive right now. Not BADs. The more BFBs and the more mobs they send at us, the harder we struggle and it's the worst of it. Look at that stack. They're just so close together, but it also makes it easier the closer they are for our abilities to ricochet off each other close. Oh, there we go. Inferno ring. Let's make sure he's set on first since we can beat the stronger balloons. I want to make sure we destroy everything first with the fireball. Okay, so what would be next? I guess the smart choice would be balloon crush so we can stall everything, but that is 46 grand. I think we need to, go, need to get tech terror. That's an ability. It makes it super powerful. It's a super monkey and it's actually cheaper than balloon crush. So I think that's a smart move. 20 grand. There we go. We're just a grand away. Literally exactly a grand away. Come on. Okay, we just use spike storm and a couple abilities here and we have our money perfect. There we go. So next up anti balloon gun 68 grand versus 80 grand. That's super nice. There we go. Ability that still did some damage even though he was in the back. I think the next play is we get arc mage and then the ice monkey t5s because they're cheap but they're also really powerful against the moabs which would be super nice especially in brittlemint okay wave 118 that's a lot of reinforced ddt's but we handled them i'm just trying to get super brittle up next which is gonna be nice balloons take huge damage while frozen including moab class balloons and actually in brittlemint already does extra damage to moab class balloons i was like oh no the reinforced bad's coming in we're screwed because i, I might not need my i might not have my abilities because i need them for this round nope we still have a literally 19 rounds before those things show up but we're making a lot less money like we're struggling to get back up to 20k which even in the 90s where you don't make as much money as you do in the 70s or even 40s and 50s it was a struggle this is a big struggle in comparison okay so we're just a couple grand away from getting embrittlement i think that's gonna be a big step up for us so come on there we go use one of our abilities on a door here just one grand come on give me embrittlement embrittlement's gonna shoot up i think the pop count on this ice monkey which is gonna be fantastic come on come on come on and i need another t5 i think just the more t5s we get the stronger we're gonna get oh yeah look at that pop count already rise it literally jumped like 10k in the first couple seconds that we got that okay can't wait to cut check that and just literally just a couple rounds oh yeah it's literally been two rounds and this guy's already almost doubled his pops at 224,000. okay yeah he that embrittlement was so worth it t5 absolute double check it was a massive win for us okay so we could go for super actually we need to get spiked mines at least because those explode can't believe i haven't gotten that t4 yet it just all depends on how much money we get but if we die we die you know what so wait, we can't get back in so and that's gonna be the big big issue with this so we're not gonna know how much money we have especially since we only have 10 waves to reinforce bad because as soon as they send that they start sending them around regularly so we might be able to deal with it on its own but if there's a whole bunch of other balloons like they're sending now that might be a big big issue and it's also going to be completely random so we could get it right away we could get three of them right away i'm gonna put down a super monkey not in range actually can i get in the range of the village that would be super nice but i don't think i can super monkey down boom plasma blast so we're not cheating okay and then we can get super range and epic range because both prince of darkness and our boy what is it arc mage they get rid of camera detection so we're not going to worry about it actually i think embrittlement also gets rid of camera detection so oh camo so we don't have to worry about it we have plenty of camera detection this is going to be our sun avatar we're not going for sun temple but he's at a pretty solid t3 for seventeen thousand dollars and he has a lot of pierce through the balloon so we can hit groups of balloons so i think that's going to be really useful for us okay so six grand away but we only have four waves until reinforced bad this is going to be a really close call i don't think getting sun avatar are not going to save us or not from the reinforced bad i still think that's where we're going to lose i do not think we're going to beat the reinforced bad okay so 1000 away where's the door oh my god that is just a lot of okay so activate our abilities that is so many DDTs and reinforced DDTs. where's the door okay a door is level 20 which is beautiful that's good to know so that is really really nice come on there we go sun avatar perfect so we have all that down so i guess what do we want to work towards it oh i guess we could get our middle path t3 here that's something okay so the reinforced bad how are we gonna do here let's activate all of our abilities not the slow down one that's not gonna do anything okay so let's see we want to save our robo monkey ability come on we're doing damage to it but every time you see it take damage it's only 20 percent hp being gone so that until we see it pop out oh, there's the second re the bad second bad this is not good for us oh, oh okay so there we go we popped it and there we go activate every single ability come on please 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 oh yeah we still have perma spikes we still have perma spikes 
so we win we defeated the 140 oh my god okay guys i have no idea how far we're gonna get so i'm just gonna sit here and roll it out if i get enough money we'll upgrade anything we down we have for t5s we're not gonna get sun god temple and i won't add any more t4 so I i'll see you guys when we lose i guess because this is probably not gonna wait take very long this is gonna be a very very interesting well work so it looks like that was it our inferno ring with 9.3 million pops was our strongest tower at a wave 146 the no melee weapon challenge leave a like comment and subscribe down below if you guys did enjoy it and i'll see you all next time rock stars peace peace